So we're going to go ahead and get started today. We're going to be drawing a bulldog, which is super exciting because I miss all of my bulldogs. So for mine, I'm going to use a Sharpie, but if you want to, please use a pencil. That way, if you make a mistake, you can erase it. If you have Sharpies at home, you can always go ahead and trace over it a little bit later with a Sharpie. But like I said, I'm going to use a Sharpie and we're going to go ahead and get started. So to start with, we're going to frame out his mouth. So I'm going to start with a slight curve around. It's going to bump up and then it's going to straighten out a little bit, kind of like an S line. And then on the end, it's going to hook upward. This is going to be part of his jaw. The next thing that we're going to do is we're going to run a parallel. That means it's equally across line and it's going to follow kind of the same one and then it's going to hook around on the other side. Now, I don't know about you guys, but I feel like my bulldog needs a very cute nose. So we're going to start with a kind of diagonal line and then we're going to curve it down and then we'll curve it down the other way and connect the point. And then I'm going to go ahead and do a slight bend line into the mouth. So it curves down and touches that top lip. Now this next line is a little bit tricky. It's a long line. So we're going to start at the nose. We're going to sweep around that jaw. It's a big line. And then it's going to go across and stop about even. This next one's going to be another kind of big line. So we're going to start a little bit up on that last one. Curve it around. And it's going to hook into that second line there. So it's like a big water balloon filling up underneath his side of his face. We're going to go to the middle of the lip. I made a little line there just so I know where I'm going. And it's going to come down. We're going to hook into that side of the bubble over there. And we're just going to go ahead and touch it there. And we're going to do one more small one kind of on that side of the lip there. Come down and touch it into the last line that we just made. Looking great so far. We're now going to go ahead and add in those two sharp bulldog teeth. So I'm going to add one. I like to have a little bit of a bend to my triangle line, but you don't have to. And I'm going to go ahead and do the same thing on the other side. This one's a little bit smaller because that side of his face is further away. We're going to add a line that comes out from the nose, wraps around the tooth, and then into the jawline. That's the other side of his face. And this line here is going to be a little bit trickier. This is going to be the eye. So we're going to swoop it around like a check mark and come up. If you need to pause the video here, please do that. We're going to do a similar line on the other side, but it's not nearly as big. So it's going to hook around on the left side and then come in, almost touch the nose, and connect to the other eye. This eye is going to be very, very angry, so we've got a big slant to it. The other one is smaller because it's on the other side of the face. Again, pause the video if you need to. We're going to add a small line that connects the eye into the face, just so his face is fully complete on that side. We're going to do another kind of small line on that side to box in that side of his face. And then I'm going to add two eyeballs on the inside. The one on the right hand side is much larger because it's closer to you. I like to add two little light catchers, one in each eye, and then color it in. I like the light catchers because it makes his eyes look a little bit more lively. If you make a mistake and color them all the way in, that's no big deal. You can always just leave them fully colored in. They look fine that way too. All right, he's looking pretty vicious right now. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and kind of get that top part of his face in. And we're going to start with his ear, actually. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to make a straight line that is kind of diagonally out. We're going to do a kind of bendy S curve line. We're going to swoop it around, come up, and then a parallel line in. And then we're going to add just a little skin kind of fold over because those bulldogs are a little chunky. So they've got little skin that kind of flaps over there. On the other side, we're going to wrap one big line that goes from the left eye all the way around to the ear. 
and now we're going to go ahead and put in that left side ear. So I'm going to start with my two parallel lines. The top one, we're going to swoop it out. We'll bend it around and come into the other parallel line. So it looks a little bit empty on that right hand side. So we're going to add one curved line from the ear all the way down to what's called his jowl. It's that big balloon looking area. And now we're going to go ahead and start putting in spikes for his collar. So I'm going to add four spikes at the top. You can add however many you feel like your bulldog needs. And then over here, we're going to do what I call the candy corn shape. So I'm going to start with a triangle and then on the end where it would be flat, I'm going to curve it in. I'm going to work my way around the curve of the bulldog's face. When I get to that jowl, that bigger bubbly area, I'm going to skip it. I'm going to go down to the bottom of the face and do the same thing. So the candy corn shape, so triangle line and then bubble at the top there. I'm going to put a couple in on this side as well. Finish it off with one more. And now we need to get his collar in here. So I'm going to go up to here and I'm going to skip a line in between all of my spikes. When I get to the gel, I'm going to stop. And then I'm going to continue on to the other side, skipping all the way through. And just like that, I'm finished. I would like to add one more thing and you don't have to do this if you don't want to, but I want to show my BC pride, so I'm going to go ahead and do a block BC. You can put this wherever you want on your paper if you want to do one. So I started with the letter B, and I'm going to fill in the bubbles on the inside, and then I'm going to do my block C so it's more square than it is curvy. I'm going to fill that out, making it look like it has an outside and an inside line. All right, we're gonna go ahead and start our coloring next, but I forgot one more thing I wanted to add, and that's gonna be a circle that kind of goes around it. I have to kind of skip around my face and around the edge of my paper. You might not have to, and that is fine. All right, that looks good so far. Now I'm gonna go ahead and take out my crayons Thankfully, I've got a couple of packs here at home. And I'm only going to use three colors on this. I'm going to use orange to start with, and I'm going to go ahead and start filling in that bulldog's face. So I'm going to speed this up here just a little bit so that you don't have to watch me color it all the way in, but I'm going to color in the whole face, just leaving a few parts of this kind of left open. I want to make sure that I don't color in the teeth or the eye area. All right, now that that's done, I'm gonna take my silver or gray color. If you don't have one of those at home, you can always use a black and just color lightly. Colored in all the spikes, and I'm gonna finish off with the black, coloring in the collar and his cute little nose. Now I'm gonna switch back to the orange and color in the BC, but you can color those whatever colors you want. And then one thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to leave a bubble edge around my BC. So I'm gonna go ahead and kind of carve a white gap between where I want the black to be and where that orange lettering is. All right, and then I'm gonna go ahead and start to color this in. You can also leave a white gap around the edge of the circle, which I'm gonna do here, and you can follow that if you want to. Now your circle might not go all the way off the page like mine does, and if it doesn't, that's okay. I didn't love how I left it, so I filled in the little center, and it was done. And here you guys have it. Here's my finished bulldog. Go ahead and freeze the video if you want to, and you can color yours just like mine, or however you feel like it. 